hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video i'm going to show you how to add watermark to your image and then save it into your photos app this is basically the use case of adding text to the image and saving it so let's get started so guys as a first step you need to add certain permissions to the info.plist file because we are going to write the image back to my photo library once we have added text to it so we need these permissions and as photo library use a description with a string add it in your info.plist file So here we have added another file watermark view which is basically of type view. I have added an image and text to it inside a Z stack and set different properties of it like frame, font design, uh, padding, background and opacity which will set basically the visibility of the whole view. And I have also set the opacity of the text to 0.3 so that the text as well as its background is not that visible on the image and it will not basically uh, create problems in the viewing of the image.
so here i am creating the content view so basically it is a v stack on the top of it is basically our watermark view which we, which is an image plus text and after that we have added a button to basically uh, save this image into your uh, photo library so uh, i am going to basically uh, get the image from a function that i am going to show you in a few moments and after that we are going to write this function ui image write to saved photos album to write this image into our photos library So you have seen that we have created an extension view with the function merge text image it is going to return an image that is basically the snapshot of the screen after the view is rendered onto the user screen so for that we are going to get a view from uh, basically our parent view the root view controller we, we are going to get that view we are going to get its size and we are going to pass these values to the renderer which will basically render uh, while rendering the whole of the view inside the user view it is going to get an image of it which is which is basically just like clicking a snapshot so that image is then passed to ui image and returned from this function we are going to save this image inside line number 15 and pass it basically to our function ui image write to save photos album to write it into our photos app so we have done with the coding part now we are going to run our code and as you can see that the text is not visible on the background we have set inside the watermark view this is due to the reason that we have forgotten to set the foreground color inside the watermark view z stack so i am adding it here and you can see that now the text is visible after running the code So after running the code successfully, I am now accessing the photos library and you can see that the image is successfully saved there along with the text. So our image is successfully watermarked. So guys, your image is successfully watermarked and ready to be shared with any of the online platforms. You can write this code inside your app as well. So I hope you have liked this tutorial. Uh, do not forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye.